Ok, chicos, hoy vamos a aprender acerca de Francia. So cool. Oh, my God, that's it! Let's actually learn about something interesting for once. The anime men's most underrated anime ever! Hi, I'm Ethan, and this is my underrated and underappreciated anime. Yeah. Slide one, LeBron. <laughs> Is Bart. Bart got a big ass head, though. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Next slide, next slide. Onaragoro! This, yeah! okay. I think this is very underrated because, you know, the message is just so, it's... All right, but actually, yeah. The first one, Monster. Honestly, it's rated relatively well. It's like an 8.85 on my anime list. No, every time people bring up like top rated animes, people don't really bring up Monster. The, only re the reason why I think that is is because like, you know, it's not your usual shonen where there's action and a lot of like CGI. It's also really long, but it's really good. I think the villain is probably the greatest villain I've ever seen in anime. Better than Darth Vader. It's cool. Johan's very. Wait, don't spoil. It's not. It's not. I was about to. He's not. He, dude, it's not even spoiled. It's episode one. Here. Where did my my mic go? It's in you. Here. Why? Why did you do that? Why? Bro's mic is literally right here. Here are the most underrated anime by me. You guys already know what it's gonna be. Do you guys know? You're gonna say for Grand Blue. You're gonna say Grand Blue. Come on, man. Y'all already know it. Y'all already know it. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This is a troll, this is a troll. It's Whoa. one year ago. But now the real most oh. underrated anime of all time. 86. No one talks about it. That's yeah, it. Because it's ass. So 86 is if you would like infuse World War II with Evangelion. We have two MCs, Shinei and Vladalina. She wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> it's a good. Guys, let me. <laughs> Aiden, this is like a presentation you give in class when your teacher tells you not to read off the slides. And okay, it's a good process. Let me talk. There's World War II style Republic of San Mongolia. San Mongolia is basically Germany. There, this woman right here, she's like Aryan. She's like Aryan. You and they're. Bulba? It's the first episode. And ba instead. She's of, not Aryan, she's blue hair. It's the. the it's, it's, it's based off of that. So like, they're Dude, the. Bro's getting attacked. <laughs> Dude! Attacked. You know what? I quit. You have to read off your last thing. No, I'm done. All right, guys. Oh. We're not putting the work on the slide. Bro, Bro made a middle school for Yo, can you start? All right, golden time. Yeah. Wait, wait, uh, why? Let me cook! No, no, Ethan, let's Damn it! Go. Number one, it's peak romance. The character development between the characters is immaculate. What's their names? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, realistic portrayal of... I block it in my bad. Romance. Uh, oh, romance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most animes that have romance, they were, like they make it so exaggerated. Like, all, all this bullshit's happening. Nah, they cut that shit out. It's real, all right? And... I, I cut off my own sentence, that's crazy. But yeah, number three, she bad. She bad. Dude. Wait, yo, how old is she? She looks like she's they're, they're in college. They're in college, college. yeah, they're 20. Yeah, let me cook. Yeah, that's what I like. My most underrated anime OAT of all time is this. This is actually Aiden's favorite anime. Wow. That's me. He loves that's it. Me. Okay, actually, guys, my most underrated anime of all time. Welcome to the NHK. Now, as an example for the next slide, real photo of Aiden. So if you're antisocial, this is the perfect anime for you. You know, if you don't go outside too often, then yeah, it's perfect anime for you. Guys, I actually go outside, I surf like every day. Tell me the... <laughs> Tell me this doesn't look like Aiden. Bro, you actually kind of do. All right, next. A story of love, self-improvement, hope, and despair. <laughs> this all right, little bro. This anime really shows you the darkest times of people, but also some of the happiest, and it really shows you how an antisocial guy tries to make a life for himself. Before Welcome to the NHK, real photo of Aiden Santana. After Welcome to the NHK. All right, go watch it now. Again, Welcome to the NHK, don't even want to go over the plot. If you're antisocial, go watch it. Coming in as, honestly, my pick for the most underrated anime I've ever seen has to go to Demon Slayer. I have never seen an anime that is more slept on in my entire life. Have you ever seen someone talking about Demon Slayer? No, I don't think so. Exactly. Which just shows how good it is. Okay, Demon Slayer probably has the best MC in anime history. But it is so good. Look at Cade right now. Look at how... Because he, he knows how underrated Demon Slayer is. It also has the best plot I've ever seen in an anime. What's it about? So, basically... Killing demons. Yes, it's just the best anime I've ever seen. 
and it's super underrated. Okay, jokes aside, my actual pick for the most underrated anime has to be Samurai Chomp Blue. Samurai Chomp Blue isn't that underrated, but people talk about Cowboy Bebop so much more than Samurai Chomp Blue. Cowboy Bebop compared to Samurai Chomp Blue is straight ass. He looks like he's gonna cry right now. What's up guys, I'm Jeremy Yu. Couldn't tell. This is my epic presentation about the most underrated anime of all time. Before we start, I just want to make a quick note about anime. There's just so many to choose from, so making this list was very hard for me. My most anime of all time has to be Grand Lagoon. okay? Okay, I didn't get a reaction. Okay, no one, no one said anything. Why it's good. Grand Lagoon is an extremely unique anime. It's not like other animes that carry the same predictable plot and snooze fest. Unlike everyone else's anime that they shows on this list, okay? Yes, okay. It's a little, it's a, hey, 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 look, a little mix of everything. This show fuses so much together. It contains action, romance, mecha, etc. It brings all together and it's amazing. Some of the best freaking fight scenes. There's just so many to choose from. <laughs> it gives you goosebumps, that's all I gotta say, bro. We've been in this classroom since like two o'clock two and it's 8.30 right now. Don't worry about it. Why is it underrated? Although Grand Lagoon is not a very unknown anime, I feel as though it is not relevant and talked enough relative to how good it is, you know what I'm saying? Considering it aired in 2007, a significant amount of more recent anime watchers have definitely not heard of Grand Lagoon, which is why I would put it on this list. Obviously, it's a pretty well-known anime, but this is, this is new gen anime watchers, people with their Discord profile pictures, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. This is my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, use code the anime and get yourself check out for 10% off your purchase. Goodbye. Guys, this is our worst.